<laughs> On May 2nd, 1993, Roland and Barbara Scott and their son Andrew were being visited by Barbara's mother at their home in Concord, Massachusetts. She came to help out in any way she could while three-year-old Andrew was having surgery. But none of them ever imagined just how much they would rely on her during her stay. You hungry? Okay. Andrew was supposed to go into the hospital for an operation that week uh, to widen his trachea. Would you like some corn? Okay, great. Get some corn for you. Okay. Hurry up, I'm hungry. He would seem all excited about it. Yeah, yeah, corn, great. Andrew? Andrew? Andrew, breathe. Cough. Come on, let it out. Andrew! Concord 911, let's go. We got a baby that's choking. It's what's your, he's turning blue. What's your address? 157 Mill Road, Concord. He's turning blue, please. Okay, we'll be right there. Does anyone there know how to do CPR, ma'am? No, no. Okay, stay with me on the phone, okay? All right, hurry, please. He's turning blue. Please, he's turning blue. He's turning blue. We're on the way, ma'am. He's choking. He's choking. What's the baby choking on, ma'am? He had, he ate some corn. Okay, and it's caught in the baby's throat? Yes, yes. Okay. Concord Police Dispatcher Philip Smith is handling the call. When you hear that someone is turning blue, you know that you're into those very critical three to five golden minutes. Knowing the location of the house, we were going to be outside that envelope by the time the fire engine could get up there. He's going to breathe. Okay, okay, where is the baby right now, ma'am? He's on the floor in the living room. We're trying. I got down beside him and tried to blow into him, and I realized that I couldn't blow in at all. You know, it was completely blocked. It really is the mother's worst nightmare, that feeling that Andrew's life was slipping away from us, and we couldn't do anything about it. Okay, is the baby breathing at all, ma'am? No, is he breathing? He's not breathing, no. We had uh, just instituted the medical priority dispatch card system, so it basically came down on me that if I didn't pull this one off, that uh, we were in very, very deep trouble and um, we might not make it. How old's the baby, ma'am? He's three years old. Three years old? Yeah. Okay, I want you to lay the child on the floor face up. Can you do that? Yeah, his father's doing that. All of a sudden, he just seemed to be dead. And um, I don't know what I'd do without him. Here's what I want you to do. Yes. Okay, I want you to straddle the child. Straddle the child. Straddle Sit him. Sit right over the child. Andrew's grandmother, Dolores Plascota, had just arrived six hours earlier. At this point, we thought that he was gone, that he was not going to come back to us. Just put the heel of one hand on the child's stomach. Put, just the, heel, put the heel of your hand, one hand on his stomach, Roman. Just, just above his belly button. Just above his... Okay, do you okay. understand me? Yes. Okay, what I want you to do is push push down six times. Can push you do that? Down. Roland, push down six times. There. Okay, okay he's coming to... The baby's coming too? Yeah, he's sitting it up. Is the baby breathing or crying? Is he breathing? No, he's not breathing, but he's spit it up. 4650, the fire check. Yeah, the baby is not breathing? No. Okay, you're going to have to do it again, ma'am. Do it again, Roland. Do it again. Six more times. Six more times, Roland. 44. Six more times. I was like, oh my God, we've tried everything now, and it was uh, just so, you know, frightening that it. You know, I just wanted to believe that we could bring him back. Infant choking, code red. Okay, six more times. Did that do anything, ma'am? Did it help? It helped. It helped a little bit. Okay, the, all right, is the baby breathing? Is he breathing? He's breathing. Yeah, he's crying. He's starting to cry. Okay. When his eyes opened up first, his first breath in was just a little breath, like it was going through a straw. It was so scary. Scary, but it was like, it was like, he was alive, you know. Let him cry, 
Lola, and that's good. The joy of hearing that cry was wonderful. He was back with us. They were happy. Okay, they're they're all here. Okay, they're in the room there with the yes, towel? Yes. Okay. Yes, bye bye. Six Hi. minutes after the call began, yeah. the first rescue units arrived. Once the paramedics arrived, and especially once I heard the child coughing in the background there, I knew that uh, I knew that we'd made it. You don't like crashing? It was never conclusively determined whether Andrew's narrow trachea was the reason he choked that day. His surgery was successfully performed one month later. We're very lucky. Very lucky. You know, I think, well, what if we lived in a town where they didn't have 911? Or, you know, what if we had it, but the dispatchers hadn't been given that training and all they could do was call the ambulance and the ambulance took 11 minutes? You know, they might have revived Andrew, but he might not have been the same person. That was around the I feel very fortunate that, that Phil was on the other end of the line to answer the phone. And I love him for, for bringing my son back. Recently, the whole family visited the fire department to personally thank dispatcher Philip Smith. I will remember this call for the rest of my life and for the dramatic results that came out of it, especially uh, truly one of the, the finest moments I've had here. Remember that, Andrew. I want the officer at 911 to know we will never forget him. I thought of him especially when Andrew had his fourth birthday. And I thought he might not have had a fourth birthday if it hadn't been for 911. That's your side of the road. Uh, the grandmother did an absolutely astounding job. Once she started taking directions, she conveyed them perfectly. They were executed and uh, worked out great. See, there's some tracks over there. Nate. You look through this tree. It's everything that we have him with us to love and to watch him grow. Give me a kiss. Yeah. Oh, is that good? Oh. <laughs>